Hi guys. Um, welcome back to the Cast and YouTube Cast and Paint Company YouTube channel. Jesus, I can't talk. Um, I'm Cassidy. I'm Brendan. And today we're gonna be talking about our favorite watercolor brands. Um, first off, we're gonna be starting with student quality. Um, so you're gonna start off with the Windsor and Newton Commons. So I think this is the most popular set that you can get. Um, that was the pop that I originally started with. I will show you the one that I started with in a moment. This is just my swatch chart, which is like laminated. It's really sketchy. It's laminated with um, packing tape, but <laughs> um, so yeah, it just comes with all these colors. There's a warm and cool of each primary, two greens, three earth tones, and it comes with the white, but I, I love that. Um, I put, a turquoise in there because I was like that would be fun to play with so yeah that's the one uh -huh. I originally placed my white this is in my original pot with an apora rose an opera. thanks to Generini thanks to Generini and her <laughs> her favorite opera rose oh, this won't close okay so then we have this one which oh yeah I guess this is probably the second most popular I've seen people with this one so it comes out. Do you have this one? I actually don't. Oh yeah, this is just I don't know. This is my probably my favorite, other than another one I'm gonna show you in a moment. But um, comes out like that. You can put this over here, and then it also came with a white, I believe. Yeah, a white. And I put I have no idea what color that is. It's like it's just, it's not even a common color. It's a Grimbacher Academy color, and I don't know what it is. It's some kind of pink. And then I got, well, this was the first one I got. This is the Pocket Plus set, I think. And um, I kept the white in here. It did not come with a black. It has a split primary, greens, earth tones, and a white. And this one I like because you can, like, put this up here and this down here or wherever you want it. And this actually comes out, too. And, Yeah. And then I got this one. So this is just to show you all the different palettes you can get. This came with, it was a wacky selection of colors. And so I replaced them. But yeah, this is my swatch card for this. And so um, I'd say the common paints are okay if that's what you can like get. If, it, if they're cheap where you are, go for it. But I think they're a little overpriced where we live. Unless you get yeah. on Amazon. Like, um... On this sale. yeah on sale this is so expensive this is like 15 bucks on amazon but it's like 30 40 dollars at um michael's it's like 25 at hobby lobby so i would say if you can afford it if it's like if you live in england or something where i know it's cheap in europe it's cheaper and this is the cheapest brand you can get then definitely get it it's fine it'll work for you for starting out mm -hmm. but i think you can definitely which we'll talk about in a moment to get better paints for the price that we in america can so yeah, they're okay. They're not that vibrant, but yeah. So, Harry Brennan has a better option. For student grade, there is this brand, Pretty Excellence. Um, I'm not sure if they, I don't think they sell this in stores at all. I got off of Amazon. It's like $15, $20. Um, and this is a selection. It comes with, oh God, I don't even know the amount. 36. 36 colors. There is a white and a black in it, which I mean, is kind of useless. I like black sometimes. I'll use it for certain things. The only complaint I have about this palette is it only gives you like two yellows, but you do get a wide selection of blues. And then there's all these greens. You have quite a few browns down here and then red. This is more of like a pinkishy color. It does come with three purples. Um, I really like these first two in grade. I've tried a lot of different brands. This is my favorite. To start out, it is a lot of colors. Um, you don't necessarily need all these. There's a lot of convenience colors in there. Kind of, if you need to like learn to mix, I wouldn't say maybe go with this or try to mix. I mean, I try to mix a lot. Um, but I do really like this palette and for the price, I think it's one of the better student grade. Do you want to go No, I'm sorry. There is one thing I'll be careful with with these Amazon. I don't know if this brand has light fast information. Does it? Yeah, this brand actually does come This does, that. but some of the cheaper brands on Amazon won't have light fast information, whereas mm -hmm. if you go the, for the student quality of an already well-known brand like Cotman, that is something mm -hmm. that they will share pigment information and light fastness information. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what light fastness is, it's just like if, it had, if, if it'll fade in the sun or not over time. And so those are, it does have pigment information. It does. It, it comes with a swatch card and a, I don't have it today, but it will tell you like pigment and the light fast on it. And it comes with a swatch card and this brand does come with a water brush. Um, I don't currently have it in there cause I don't really use it. It's a little smaller, just but I do enjoy it. Yeah. Just like a normal water brush. It's nothing special. It looks something like that when it comes in it. And then, um, yeah, Cotman. 
also comes in tubes just gonna say that but yeah okay so the next brand it comes in tubes and pans so we put the this is up. just a pan set i've never seen these in tubes i also don't know if this brand makes other things this is the only thing i've seen under pretty excellence i also think we should probably talk about the fact that they so watercolors can come in tubes so these are um this is a really big tube and then their standard size tubes are like this these are eight milliliters and these are 21 milliliters so there's tubes and then there's um if i could get one of these out of here this is not an extruded pan so an extruded pan means that this was like formed into a log and then it was cut into the pan sized pieces and then there's poured pans those almost look like poured pans um so like it wouldn't look that sketchy if a factory did it but um so there's poured pans where they pour this into the pans but so yeah these are extruded i think those look poured but yeah, i'm pretty sure these are poured. they could be extruded i don't know so yeah that's just another thing to keep in mind okay these are a half pan but they don't come out this is like a preset thing where those ones you can't yeah, take, the pans these ones out. You can take the pans out and then you can refill you could refill both of them with artist quality paint a lot of people do do that Okay, so next we have, um, what else is in this is one of my favorites and Brendan's favorite brands is Grumbacher Academy. So these are some colors that he chose to talk about today. Mm -hmm. This is probably, again, I would say that these are better than the pretty excellent paints in terms of student grade. Um, but for $20, this you do get a lot more bang for your buck. These are about, I think, I yeah, like, $40.99 yeah, a tube. So they're not bad. I mean, of course, when you start buying a bunch of tubes, it might add up. Um, but in terms of a student grade, I honestly think these are a lot better than most on the market. I wouldn't say they're better than some professionals, <laughs> artists <laughs> grade. Um, this isn't my exact palette. Of course, I would have more colors, um, but I do really like the shades that they provide in their brand. And then obviously because they come in tubes, you can pour them out into a palette. This is my personal Grumbacher Academy palette. Um, these you can get at Hobby Lobby, and Michaels, Michaels, and obviously you can get them online. <laughs> wherever you shop and um Grumbucker is a bigger brand so they're gonna have the pigment information I don't know if you can see this that great the pigment information um it's made with gum arabic it has somewhere on here I'm sure the light fastness information is on there I'm not oh I think that's it that's light oh, fastness yeah. information oh, wow. and so yeah you oh, get all that information pigment, oh yeah you see the pigment is at the top right there if it would focus yeah right there so yeah, that's what you're gonna get with the like, slightly higher quality stuff. Do they make? They do make pans. I've never seen the pans in store though. Yeah, I think they do make pans. Um, they do. It's like they have like one or two sets. I believe you can buy from their website, but mostly you'll find the tubes inside of the stores. We'll try to link everything we can find in the description box. But yeah, so that's Grumbacher Academy. Um, there is a brand I would like to talk about that we are not the biggest fans of that we tend to see people purchasing a lot as their first. And I understand that it comes with a lot of colors, which I do suggest that if you're going to start off, I think it's great to get a cheap palette with a bunch of colors so you can see what colors you want to buy more expensive. But for cheaper, you can get these pretty excellent paints that are far higher quality than what I'm about to show you. Um, and cheaper. And a cheaper, cheaper, a lot cheaper. These are very expensive. This is going to be controversial because a lot of people say these are great beginner paints. These are going to be the Koi watercolors the pocket field sketchers box um we both have this set which is like 24 i yeah, think 24. um it comes in 12 24 36 and 48 i believe yeah. you can also buy them in tubes i can't speak for the quality of the tubes, the tubes. i don't believe they're the same paint these are going to be extruded these come similarly they're pretty excellent as you can see these are very chalky they crack they're not supposed to pop them out but mine pop out they have glue on the bottom which is a little yeah. annoying um you could pop this whole thing out and i really really enjoy this box because you have this little palette you have this little palette that you can put to the side and these are meant so you can put a little like watercolor postcard up there and like paint but i just don't think these are worth the money they do come with a little water brush which i like mine got busted because i lost the cap but um <laughs> it's a it's a decent little water brush it collapses and then you just take this cap off and you screw this on but i just think if you can get this on super, super, super duper sale, mm -hmm. then if you really think you want to, then go for it. Um, if somebody's offering to give these to you, sure, take them. But I think that there are far better options for the money. For a larger here, set. Yeah. For a larger set. 
Like these are cheaper and come with more color. I would honestly, I would choose these over that any day. And I've never even used these, but you can just tell these aren't nasty and chalky like these ones. Um, no offense, obviously, if whatever you have, use it. Whatever you like, use it. If these bring you joy, if these spark your creativity, then you use them. But I'm just saying, if you're watching this video trying to find a beginner set of watercolors, I would say go for Cotman's Grumbacher Academy. Pretty excellent. I'm gonna link. Lindsay, the Frugal Crafters channel, because she reviews a lot of inexpensive watercolors on her channel that you can look at, too. And, um, there's just a lot better options than these boys. Um, another brand I want to talk about that I don't know much about because I just recently got them. This is another brand like Windsor Newton that they make artist quality paints, although I have not used their artist quality paints. So, you have, like, they're decent, they're usable. Um... And these are going to be the Dylan Rowney Aquafine paints. I don't know if mine was messed up, but I had to take out my, this is my swatch card. I had to take out my Prussian Blue and replace it with Grumbucker Academy Prussian Blue because it like it didn't show up. Um, I haven't used them in a painting yet. I just recently got them and haven't used them, but like they swatch out fine. They're fine. What I will say is that I don't recommend the Dylan Rowney Simply Watercolors. You tried those. Mm -hmm. Please excuse this disgusting box. These are awful, streaky. They're a mess. Those you get at Walmart. I would not, if that's what you have, use them, but I wouldn't suggest them. These are from Michaels, and I would say they're higher quality. I couldn't tell you the exact quality. It's a cute little box. It's like, it's similar to the Pretty Excellent McCoy, that it's just in like molded plastic. This comes out, you can mix in there, and it comes with a little size four brush. But yeah, do you want to talk about? Yeah, let me turn this. Alright. So, these are more really like craft paints. These are like meant for like scrapbookers and stuff, I think. They're like crafters. Right. So, there's two brands. This this is not Arteza. This is just the primos inside of an Arteza pan. Um, I personally, Jane Davenport is a brand that's very similar to this one. Um, one might say it's the exact same paint. They are allegedly made in the same factory. They are, are also allegedly the same as a brand called Mungio, which I will link in the description. I think the people were to get them. Um, they are gonna have. They're not gonna have like tried and true names like Ultramarine or like Cadmium mm -hmm. Red. It's gonna be very cutesy names. For example, Jane Davenport. So like mango, apple, blueberry. Jane um, does have three palettes herself. These are just two of them. I don't, yeah, I don't have the third one, but. Um, I do own all three. I use Jane's quite a bit. I'm not going to say that they're bad paints, but for the price that you're paying, you could get much better paints. Um, the only thing about these types of paints is they are pre-mixed. You're not really supposed to mix them because um, that's not what they're meant for. So when you start getting into that, they do get kind of muddy. One thing I like about Jane's, not particularly this palette, but this one and her other one, she does provide three single pigment primaries for mixing, so that's kind of nice for the option. Um, but honestly, if you were going to go with this type of paint for like craft paint and all that, I would definitely say go with the Primas, only because you get a much larger selection of colors. These are only eight of their palettes, like I have a couple more. They come in just like little, they come in little metal tins. Like yeah, there. yeah, the same tins as like the Jane's. So just regular metal tins. People used to buy these because tins used to be so expensive. People used to buy these for the tins and the pans. But, I mean, they're fine. They don't layer too great. Mm -hmm. I honestly like these paints. Like, if I want to have, like, fun and just kind of, like, mess around is what I grab these colors for. And having all three of the jeans, I like them for that. But to repurchase them knowing what I know and knowing that the Primas exist, it wouldn't be my first choice. They are $30 for 12 pans. Yeah. These are all mixed. I mixed all my sets up other than um, the bottom two. This is the Complexions palette. And then this is the Vintage Pastels or Pastel Dreams or something like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the rest of these are all mixed. Um, uh, yeah, I'd say go for these. They're $30 for 12 at Hobby Lobby and at Michael's. Michael's Hobby Lobby. And they perform the exact same they way. They perform the exact same way. And you can get the Prima ones for like $15, $20 on Amazon. So I might do that. Our trooper. We are a fan of our friend Jane over here. No shade, no hate. I like them. No, but they're just they're monkey watercolors. Like. Kind of wish she would come out with more pans because also you are more limited. She has a third pan, but even with that, like, there's only so yeah. much you can do. Okay. Do the yeah. Okay, so the next thing we have is not watercolor. 
but it's a very affordable medium. It's a very affordable palette. We both have this. This comes in a bunch of different colors. This is gouache. What gouache is, is opaque watercolor. You could dry it. This one is not dried because, well, it was. I, I had to recon, it was a whole thing. A whole thing we're not gonna get into. It cut, this palette comes in through like a bunch of different colors. I have the pink, he has the yellow. There's a like mint green one. And there's a blue one. There's a blue one. Um, so it comes like this, and then you pull out the mixing tray. Mixing tray. I will say I don't really like that this is pink. I'd rather m mix on white, yeah. but I mean it's oh, it's an opaque medium. And these you might have seen on the internet. These are like the famous jelly gouache because they come in these little like yeah these little jelly cups. It kind of looks like a pudding cup. They're all they're good. I enjoy that. I mean we don't particularly use gouache that much or have great knowledge on a lot of gouaches. Um, but I do really like these. I have tried the Winsor & Newton ones, and I will say, again, no offense to them, I do like these a little bit better. You also get more per, like, pan than you yeah. get in just, like, the tubes. Um, but these are a solid option if you wanted to get gouache. I don't know how much these cost, to be honest. These are, like, when I bought them, because mm -hmm. I got them for Brendan's birthday a couple years ago. And when I got them, I think I paid, like, 20 bucks each. It depends on what color of the case you get. Mm -hmm. You can shop around, definitely. They have them in, like, AliExpress and Wish and stuff. I think they tend to be more expensive, oddly enough, on Wish and, like, AliExpress. Shop around on Amazon. Look around. They have bigger sets um, that will have, like, a... This is, what, 18? I think they have, like, a 24. Yeah. I think they have a 36. They have a bunch of them. Again, not to keep plugging Wendy's channel. Love her. <laughs> but, yeah, she has a, a bunch of reviews on the different ones. There's different, brand, there's different brands that make similar gouache, the jelly cup gouache. I know Artix is a brand that makes similar gouache. But it's good. It's decent gouache. I will say also for this brand, if you go to find it on Amazon, they do offer a watercolor set. Um, <laughs> it's a student grade watercolor set. It's about $10.00. Not to, say, not to hate on him over here. I would not recommend it. Um, if you do come across their watercolors on Amazon, for the extra $10, I would go with Pretty Excellence. Um, just saying, if you do see it, because it is, I forget what it comes with. It's probably about like 18 colors it comes with. Um, but the quality of them, I would say they're even below the Koi's over there. They're <laughs> very chalky. They're very, if $10 is all you have to spend, I guess they're fine for that. But if you're going to go, I would just spend a couple extra dollars for a different set. If you have $10 to spend, I might get a 40% off coupon for Hobby Lobby or Michaels and just grab this. But yeah. Okay. The next set that I'm going to talk about and that I'm going to recommend, Brennan has not tried. No. But I have a ton of experience with because these are some of the first watercolors. This is probably the third brand I ever tried. These are considered artist quality. They also make a student quality line called Sonnet. These are going to be the St. Petersburg White Knights. They're also called Yarka, Jack, Rich Jack Richardson's Yarka sometimes. And my palette is absolutely disgusting, so I apologize. But these come from Russia. Um, these are really good. They would be good for beginners, but I think they're also really good if you're trying to like bridge the gap between student quality and artist quality. Um, they are vibrant. They're super pigmented. They come in these giant full pans. And the prices, I think, tend to fluctuate a lot on Amazon. But I think I paid like $25 for this, for 24 pans. You can get 24. You can get a 12 set. I think you can get a 36 set. Excuse me. And you can get a 48 set. And then on art supply websites like Yark, or not Yark, like Dick Blick and um, Jerry's Donorama and Cheap Joe's Art Stuff and Jackson's in the UK and stuff like that, you can get them under the Yarka name. I think you can probably also get them under the White Knight's name. And the Yarkas, I, they're a slightly different palette and they're going to be a little bit more expensive, but they come, you can get more variety to what sets you get. And then the Sonnets they have, um, those usually come in like a... Um, a cardboard box you can get these in a cardboard box for like wicked cheap on amazon right now actually and um you could just put them in a palette that you already have you could just put it in like one of these guys from arteza but um these are super nice they all they have all the pigment information all the light fast information they're a reputable reputable brand um you can buy the pans individually for pretty inexpensive and then these are like these are big pans like i have not hit pan in all of these um so yeah I would highly, highly, highly recommend these for anybody of any level in watercolors. They're affordable, but they're super, super nice. Um, some people don't like this palette. I don't really mind it. It's kind of clunky. 
this comes out this come this comes off too i'm not gonna do it right now because it's a pain in the ass but super nice okay you want to talk about windsor now yeah we can on windsor okay so we talked about cotton earlier so now we're going to talk about their uh, artist quality which is just the windsor newton professional watercolors um this is my palette of them and then yeah these are the tubes these are the this is the older packaging and then this is the newer packaging um brendan doesn't like these paints that much I think it's like the same thing with the Cotman's. They're very expensive here and you can get, they're more expensive than tubes of Daniel Smith. And if you know anything about Daniel Smith, they are pricey. Yeah, I mean, like some of them are like $11 a tube. They fluctuate per color. I would, because there's a different series. So like series one is like the cheapest and then I'll go series two, series three. I don't know where they end. Um, so they're tubes you read, the series. So it's what pigments, how expensive the pigments are. Um, the permanence is their light fastness. So A is best, A, A is second best, B, C, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And then, um, under this stupid Hobby Lobby tag, um, is the pigment information and where it's made and stuff like that. But this is my personal palette. I think they're decent watercolors. Um, I don't like some of their, like, I think some of their watercolors are super opaque sometimes but i recently set up this palette and honestly i'm trying to i'm starting to really enjoy them it's not that i dislike them also i just i don't think that they're as good as they come to be no um and they also try to like scam you oh okay. <laughs> where they try to tell you that you can't let their um tubes dry in a pan and they won't work um clearly they work fine um, that's just to make you buy more paint Cause like, they, yeah because when you use the paints wet you just use up more um, and that's just what they're trying to do so they can charge you more yeah so they sell the pans i don't think they sell full pans anymore i think they stopped doing that mm -hmm. yeah they're so they're obviously going to be widely available in europe and the uk especially i believe um so if that's what you have and that's what you get them i don't think they're necessarily worth ten dollars for a tube of transparent orange i think this is actually i didn't know this when we got these a limited edition color i think they, i don't know this is a pretty color but I don't know if I'd be spending that much if I could get Daniel Smith for a similar price. Mm -hmm. So, the next ones I'm going to talk about are going to be Daniel Smith. I don't know if you've tried the ones I gave you yet. Yes, but not enough to really speak on them. Um, Daniel Smith, I'm not going to pull out this whole thing because that's going to spoil the end of the video. Um, Daniel Smith tubes look like this or... They come in five milliliters. I don't buy them at Michael's like I did. Do not do that. They're super expensive at Michael's. Um, buy them online and you can get these or on at an art store at like Blake or Jerry's or something, like in person or online. Get the 15 milliliter tubes. This is the same price as this, this being at like Blake or Jerry's and this being at Michael's. Um, I have put them in this palette. I don't like the color. Okay, you'll see in a second. These colors, great, 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 great. The, these colors, I kind of regret putting in these. They were kind of just space holders. They're great paints. A lot of people like them. I think they're great. I think they're fantastic. I have been using them a lot recently, and I would highly recommend them. They are expensive, but... And they, they have... Their thing is they have a bunch of very, like, interesting colors, like, different... They're very... They're not for being very granular, so granulation is when, like, the pigment settles into the pigment... Uh, the texture of the paper. And um, you'll see that a lot with, like, ultramarines and stuff like that. Um, so for example, in this palette, I have Cascade Green and Moon Glow, and, um, so those will granulate in three different colors, and they're very, they're very fun, they're very cool. They're just, they're nice paints. They're really good paints, you know what to expect from them. They're solid, solid paints. Do you have anything to say about them? I haven't used them enough to really yeah. speak on them, that's the issue with that. Um, but from what I have used, I do like them. I yeah, think they're, they're a nice. solid watercolor. They're expensive, but they're nice. Um, second to last, before I show you my absolute favorites, which is going to come to a shock once you see my absolute favorite next to my second favorite. These are the Shrink of Watercolors. Um, I only bought this because you're probably thinking to yourself, if you know anything about watercolors, that's like literally a $600 watercolor palette. I got it on sale and got it as a Christmas present for myself. And they're absolutely gorgeous. This one comes with 48, but it's like some of them, like there's a white and a black that I'm not going to use. There's these metallics, which I'll use. And then this is an Oxgall pan, 
which is like a wetting agent and it can help your watercolors bloom more but these are gorgeous they're super transparent they layer pretty well they come in this really nice tin another used to be complaints that the tin was pretty sharp but this one is not sharp it's great quality and i haven't used them too too much because um i get really precious with things that i paid a lot of money for i guess so i just haven't used them that much but i love them i highly suggest them if you can get them i know they're cheaper in europe because they're made in europe um, a lot of watercolor brands are made in Europe, so they're obviously going to be cheaper there. If you can get these, these are great. These are solid. These are reliable. There's not a single color I don't like in this palette. Um, the pans are kind of like, I don't know, they're like weird. They're like really flat, but that's really nothing to complain about. So yeah, I love those. And then you used these at one time. Did you enjoy it? I, I've only used them once because I used Cassidy's. I did really like them when I did use them. I gotta say they did perform pretty well. Like these are some of my favorites. And then my all-time favorite is um, the Da Vinci watercolors, which I know a lot of people would be shocked that I said that considering I just told you I had Shrinka and like Windsor and Mirror and the Daniel Smith. But I got the Denise's, the Denise in, in liquid color. I'll link her channel down below. Um, her Earth Friendly Colors palette, and this is like my new favorite palette. I've, every time I set up a, after I got this, if I set up a new palette, I base it off of this palette. It has great colors. She made it so none of none of them are there. Is no cat? I can't speak. There's no cadmium colors. There's no cobalt colors. There's no toxic colors in here, so you don't have to worry about dumping them down your drain. Um, she is a person that is very into earth tones. There's a lot of earth tones in here. She also has a mini version of this palette, which is called a wild, the Wildlife Palette, and it has 12 pans. Um, per, the, you can get the pre-filled pan, but personally, I got the, like, fill your own, so it came with empty pans. And then these are the tubes. And, um, so I just filled up the tube, the pans with the tubes, which is why it looks a little ratchet, but yeah. Um, I super duper love these paints. They are super reliable. I have nothing, not a single bad thing to say about them. I like the tin. It's a cute little gray tin. These are her stickers because I ordered something from her shop and it came with stickers. So, <laughs> but, um, yeah, these are great. These are reliable. They're this palette. This is all I've tried. Um, and I know other people love these paints. These are all the colors I've tried. Um, I don't really have even much. They just, they're just great. They're just reliable. They're beautiful. I love them. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, we'll try to link everything that we did try out today in the video down below of where you can buy them. Um, and we will be making a couple more videos talking about brushes and paper, like our faves for those. Um, so look out for that. And yeah, um, sign up. We'll have our mailing list down below and our social medias if you want to follow those. Um, until for now, see you guys later. Bye. Bye.